Well, this uh, seven months ago, I wrote a, an email about the, uh, the drug crisis and opioid uh, fentanyl crisis in Canada and how it was taking our kids. And uh, one of the things that I soon realized after, after writing that email is how much this uh, crisis has been affecting our, our older people, the people in their 20s and 30s and 40s. And uh, I came down here today to show support and solidarity with them all that this is not just a problem for the marginalized sector of our, of our population, it's a, it's a problem for all of our population, including our children. And if we can't as a country come together and come and make programs to save our children, well, how are we going to save anybody? And uh, so how's We the Parents been going so far? We the Parents has been doing awesome. We've uh, one of the fastest growing not-for-profits most people have ever seen. We have uh, uh, busy, we have uh, meetings coming out to Canada. We've uh, tried uh, getting a, a pilot project going with the Ontario government, but unfortunately they declined funding. Uh, it's a story for another day. But uh, uh, we're starting our group, we're starting smart recovery meetings for the youth of Canada and, and area. And hopefully we'll start expanding that in the next month to Nepean and get them going around Ottawa weekly meetings for the kids, as well as uh, monthly meetings for the parents and uh, education meetings for people with younger children. And the lock zone and, and uh, safe injection sites and all that are, are, are necessary, but they're, they're harm reduction. And we can't, as a society, provide harm reduction without also having the other key thing, which is treatment. And uh, right now the treatment available to our youth is sorely lacking. Um, on Tuesday, I believe, or Wednesday, Tuesday, the uh, Terry government came up with plans for funding treatment and such on. And, and uh, you know, the part about youth and Indigenous people is $20 million starting in fiscal 2018-19. And, and that means so like the money wouldn't even be in the budget until after April of 2018. And it's like, how many more kids do they want to die before they want to help us? Um, as I've said before, it's not building a road where you plan your budget, okay, well, we're going to spend that money two years from now and fix this road. Our children are dying now and we need services and treatment now, not a year from now or two years from now.